There are several problems with considering intensity only as a percentage of one rep max. We know in programming that for long-term performance improvement, stress must continually and incrementally increase over time. And most of you know our favorite way to do this is to increase intensity by training heavier and heavier over time. Now, intensity simply means how heavy, or literally how much weight is on the bar. And that's often noted in programming discussions as a percentage of one rep max. For example, 80% intensity for three sets of five. Now, while for an individual lifter, 80% is always greater than 60%, there are several problems with considering intensity only as a percentage of one rep max. First, percentage-based programming is based on a previous performance meet or test day, and often from months in the past, and not the most recent training completed by the lifter. And second, when intensity is considered only as a percentage of one rep max, it doesn't take into account the wide variability of stress induced by that same intensity percentage on lifters of various strength and advancement. For example, a lifter who squats, say, 600 pounds can likely make progress squatting in the 405 pound range for sets of cross, which is about 67% of their one rep max. But a lifter who squats just 145 pounds almost certainly cannot drive a strength adaptation squatting less than 100 pounds for sets across, which is at the exact same 67% intensity. So despite being lifts in the same intensity range, they are obviously different stress events. So it's clear that load matters. Now, load, the literal weight on the bar matters because the goal is increased force production. The said specificity principle reminds us that the stress induced must be specific to the goal. Therefore, we cannot increase force production with light weights. However, considering intensity only in regards to load is an error as well, because a 275 pound squat for one lifter might be an all out bone on bone grinder, and for another lifter might be an easy warm up weight. Therefore, our training intensity must be heavy in regard both to load and by percentage of one rep max in order to get stronger. Now, it's our experience that novice and early intermediate trainees don't need to worry about a percentage of one rep max at all. They need to just simply add a few pounds to the bar every workout or every few workouts for as long as you can. Load is really what matters because as the load goes up, the force production requirements to move that load goes up with it and thus the trainee gets stronger. But for the advanced lifters, who often have a much longer period of training between PRs, we frequently consider an incremental increase in percentage of one rep max with a bird's eye view of their programming plan. And that percentage varies with the advancement, athleticism, and demographic of the trainee. But still, for the day-to-day -day programming for our lifters, we program the actual load on the bar rather than percentage, because each lifter has both different levels of advancement and progress in individual lifts, and because it enables us to take into account the most recent training actually completed by the lifter as well as the various stressors outside of the gym, things like work and sleep and relationships and all of those sorts of things. This allows us to really fine tune programming for each individual lifter on a daily basis to ensure optimal progress. Now, to learn more on knowing if you're actually making progress in the gym using good data, click the link right up here.